after placing all our kpis and spark lines into this particular dashboard next i will go ahead and add first the dashboard title so i will just click uh, if you can see this is style selected now i will just go ahead and select it as floating and next i will take the text object and i will just place it over here and i will type it as road accident dashboard okay so we will just select this we have to make it into white and we will take the size at 28 and i will make it as w bold just click on ok so you can just increase the size a bit you can increase this as well and we will just place it over here all right so this looks good so this is our name of the dashboard the next thing which we need to design is if you go into our dish designed dashboard we have to design this particular kpis as well so where we are showing the casualties with respect to the vehicle type which we uh, which the accident have occurred between all right so now for this we will take a new sheet and for this sheet i will name it as vehicle type kpi okay so we have taken here vehicle type kpi the next thing what i will do is for vehicle type we have a dimension over here that is vehicle type as a field i will take it and put it into the roads so here if you can see here i will just increase the size you can see there are n number of or like almost 16 types of vehicle types are there and if you can see here we have only shown about six types of vehicle types so how to do this okay so we have to create a group over here so if you do not know what is a group you can go on to tableau help site and at least you can see some basic theoretical explanation of what is a group and if if you haven't if you don't know that is that is okay so what i will tell you what the group is so first you have to right click here then you have to go on the create and next you have a group option here so you just have to click here next thing what i will do is whichever we have a motorcycle so i will make a group of all these motorcycles uh, what we can say members so i will just select this then i will press control on my keyboard then select this select this and this okay and i will just group this and i will name it as motorcycle all right so this is our first group which we have created as a motorcycle next we will create it for a bus okay so for bus what we will do we have a bus and coach over here and one more which we have is a minibus okay so we will take this two and we will convert this into a group so by selecting this two, click on this and just name it as bus okay next we have a car and one more thing we have here a taxi okay so taxis also we will consider it is in a car so we will just press control and select this and we will name this as car okay next agriculture vehicle we will have only one uh, group so we will keep it is at is as it is next uh, we have is a goods vehicle right so for this what we will do uh, i will just take this i will just take select goods over 3.5 ton goods or van uh, about 3.5 tons and uh, one more we might be having here uh, let's check okay three are enough so we will just take a group over here and we will name it as van okay or we will name it as okay van is okay so van and we'll just click on group all right and for other whatever remaining are there we will put them into others so this is the first second and third so other vehicles pedal cycle and ridden horse we will put it into others then one more we have a data missing over here this is also one member so we will put all of this into as an other group okay so and i will just click on group and we will name it as other okay it's the name is already taken so what we will do if if it is same it will not take as a name so we'll just increase the size of this a bit so you'll understand better so i will just take other then pedal cycle ridden horse and one more we have is a uh, data missing so we have created already the group so we just rename this group as others perfect so first group is our bus next is our car next is our others we have a van group motorcycle and last one is the agriculture which which is a single value so we will not group this so you just click apply and we'll click on ok so we have we can see a new field has been created over here and you can see icon of pin okay that is uh, u pin so this is nothing but that we have grouped some of the members 
uh, of one of the field here right so we just track the, this and i will just put it behind this okay so you can see uh, if this group so in bus group we have these two particular that is bus and minibus in car we have car and taxi in motorcycle we have all type of motorcycles in others we have taken uh, that is pedal other and ridden horse and in van we have taken the goods vehicles right and agriculture is one single one right and bus for that is bus minibus and coach right now what we will do we will be using our group of fields so i will just remove this vehicle type that is original field from here and now this i will take and i will put this into columns okay and i will just create her entire view all right so this was very important guys okay the next what we have to do is uh, right now whatever are the values which we are showing here these values are for casualties right so we can see serious casualties by vehicle type so these are all casualties so i will go ahead and we will take current year casualties okay we will not take one by one that is fatal casualties serious casualties so i will just take current year casualties and i will show you how to divide them by using a filter and parameter so i will just take casualties and i will put it into text you can see the text have taken it uh, like respect to a particular vehicle type we can see how many casualties are done with respect to that and next we have to show year on year casualties so we will take year on year casualties and i will we'll put it onto text so these are the year on year increase or decrease of those particular casualties so i will just click on text and we will just change some formattings over here so for this i will take it as 15 and i will make it as w bold similarly this i will take it as w semi bold and we will take it as 8 and i will make take the color as this and i will just click on apply okay right and for alignment we will choose it as center okay we will choose the center as an alignment next what we have to do here is we have to apply a parameter or filter in a such a way that whenever i select fatal it should give us the number of casualties by fatal by serious type or by a slight type or whenever we click on all option it should choose it as all right so now what we will do instead first we creating first calculation but before creating calculation i will create a parameter from here and i will name this parameter as select accident severity okay so we have selected we have created the parameter select accident severity we will choose the data type as integer and we will take the value as a list and we will take it from uh so it should be not integer it should be string value because we want to type it as a uh, the values like fatal and slight so it is a string type not of integer and we have to go ahead and select it from uh, accident severity so first option we will have we will just click on this and you can see the values in that particular field are populated into this particular parameter so all three are there just we want to click one more that is first that is all so we'll just click here and we will just type as all a capital and other two letters ll or small okay so this is our uh, what we can say accident severity and current value will be fatal whenever the workbook opens we can see the current value will be taken as the fatal we'll just click on ok so you can see new parameter has been created i will just right click and i will click on show parameter so whenever i'm changing any particular parameter value you can see nothing is changing here right why it is not changing because we have not linked this particular parameter to this particular sheet okay so now what we have to do is i will create one calculation over here and i will name it as accident severity filter okay so this is our accident severity filter and i will write a calculation like select accident severity nothing but the parameter if it this is equal to the accident severity okay means if this particular parameter is equal to the severity which we have taken here that is accident severity uh, the field which we have so it will like if we select fatal so it will filter the value with respect to this accident severity that is filter uh, because we cannot use directly the parameter into our filter so we have to take it through our calculations okay so if accident severity we are taking your fatal so what it will do it will equalize its value with respect to the field which we have in our data set okay so it will be for three types okay all these three types we have the values for accident severity but we don't have it for all so what for that we will write one more condition or or what we will choose it as select accident severity is equal to in double inverted comma we have to write a small ll okay, make sure whatever you have your typing here it sh same should be there into our parameter that is a 
okay so you can see the calculation is valid what this calculation says that if accident severity in this field is equal to this it will filter out that particular value and if it is not matching that if you select all it will neglect all these values and it will show all like instead of choosing one one value it is it will combinedly take all values and show us into the visualization so i'll just click on okay and now we'll take this and put it into filter so so this condition should be true for us so now as soon as i hit apply okay you can see the values will be changing over here so when i hit apply you can see it uh, it are changed with respect to the fatal right so because right now the accident severity is fatal when i change you can see it is converted to serious for slight it these are the values and when i change it for all you can see these are the values okay so now for serious right now these values you can see these values are matching with respect to whatever we have here all right so this was the kpi how we have designed so this is very much important guys now next thing we don't want the names over here and before that what we will do uh, we don't want the tooltip for this okay so we will just delete everything in the tooltip i will just select and delete everything okay we won't don't want to display the tooltip on the numbers we will be displaying this tooltip on these pictures okay so i will just go ahead and click on show header so this will be vanished everything and this also we will just hide the title as well all right the next thing what we have to do is we have to uh, bring these pictures into our visualization so for that i will take one more sheet and i will just click name it as vehicle type images okay and here again we will take the group which we have created into the rows uh, sorry we will take it in the columns and i will click on entire view and we will take a group so i will just press control over here and don't release your control button from your keyboard keep it pressing and drag this and put it into uh so first instead first first what we will do we will select a marks type as shape first okay now what you have to do you have to select this press control and bring this first yeah press control and uh, keep pressing control and bring this and put it into shapes okay and once you are done uh, then release your control button means what we are creating one more instances so it should not vanish from here or you can take it from here okay instead of if you can't do this you just take the vehicle type group from here and put it into shapes that is also fine okay so now we have put everything into the shapes and if each vehicle type will take uh, its respective distinguished shapes by default which we have into tableau all right so and here the shapes are displayed which shape is given to which particular vehicle type now here this is very much important guys whatever shapes which we are using here these are custom shapes okay and all these shapes are downloaded from excel some of them are taken from excel some of them are downloaded from um, what we can say google so you, you just have to download it in the form of png format okay png format is important why because its background is uh, what we can say transparent all right so now i will show you how you can add your pictures into your repository location so first you can see uh, i will just show you uh, in data if i go into my folder i have here vehicle images okay so these are the images which i have already downloaded so what you have to do is you have to take all your images into one particular folder name it name the folder uh, as per your choice whatever you have to name it and make sure this folder is there into your uh, what we can say it is in a folder all the images are there into this folder okay so now what you have to do is you have to copy this folder you have to go ahead copy this folder and you have to go into your tabular repository position okay so it is always in c so many times it is in uh, in your wherever it is installed it is in c drive you have to go in program files then scroll down find tabular you can see tabular here i will just double click on this then you have to go into your installed tableau version which you have here i will just click on this okay then you have to go into default folder and then you have to go into shape and here you have to paste it okay and it will ask a permission you have to just click on continue as i have already pasted you can see i have already added my images over here and there are these images okay and there are other shapes as well okay by default shapes which tableau provides us right so whatever custom shapes you have to add you have to add those in one folder and that folder you have to paste it into the shapes folder which is there into tabular repository okay so if you are finding uh, or if you are struggling to find your shapes folder you can go into your tableau then you can click on file and there is one uh, like one tab over here that is uh, where is it? that is a repository location okay when you click on this it will directly take you to the repository location and here you have shapes 
okay when you click here you, you just have to paste it your uh, whatever uh, shapes you have taken and you have to just paste it over here so what i will do i will uh, add this particular folder for you into uh, or link to download this folder in my description box of this video you can download it and you can use it directly all right and if you want you can use your own custom shapes whenever you are adding in that particular folder into their custom shapes you have to close your tabli workbook okay because it will directly not load sometimes it loads sometimes it does not loads immediately so you have to close your tabli you have to reopen this particular sheet then you have to go in shapes okay when you click on this particular shapes you have to click on reload shapes okay if you are not closing and if you are clicking here reload shapes it opens sometimes your shape will be there but sometimes it is not there so it is better close and reopen your tabli and click on reload shape and when you click here into this particular drop down you can see there are your folder will be added over here right so for me it is vehicle images i will just click on here and then you can change your images whichever you want so for agriculture agriculture thing i will use using this tractor for bus i will be using bus then for car you have to just select here and you have to use your car for motorbike i will be using this for others i will be using this and for van i will be using this and just you have to click apply okay. so you can see your all the vehicles are been populated over here right the next thing what you have to do is you have to give color to this particular thing so what i will do with the parameter which we have created that is select accident severity i will just take this particular uh, thing and i will just put it into colors okay so you can see i have just put this into the colors next what i will do uh, i will just click here and i will just click on show parameter and so now whenever i am choosing fatal you can see the color is changing whenever i am clicking serious the color is changing whenever i am clicking slight the color is changing and whenever i am clicking on all the color is taken as different okay so whenever i am clicking on fatal so it is taking as a yellow color if you want to change the color you have to just double click over here and then you can go on uh, let's say choose any color whichever you want so let's say in tableau uh, if you want to change the color one by one so first you have to select fatal and then you have to choose the color here then you have to again select series serious and just you have to double click and you have to change your color one by one you have to change the color or you can just click on tableau 20 and click on assign palette uh, for each of them the respective color will be taken by that uh, by tableau okay so in this way we have to take this particular parameter and put it into the color so each time whenever we are changing the parameter value that particular value will be changed with respect to that color okay so now next thing we will just hide everything from here and uh, we will just click on enter view okay perfect now what we have to do is from here we have removed all the tool tips from here but we will be placing it over here so what i will do so whatever we want to show we have to show first thing here is the current year uh, casualties okay so i will just take current year casualties and put it in tooltip then we have uh, previous year casualties we have to take and i will just put it in tooltip and then next we have to show year on year casualties and i'll just put here into tooltip and then just click on tooltip and we have seen everything is populated over here i will just take it as a nine and i will just name it as w semi bold apply so you can see whenever i am uh, taking it or, or hovering over my mouse on this particular shape so i am getting some information that the vehicle type is agriculture vehicle current year casualties previous year casualties year on year casualties and the accident severity so we just we will rearrange our this uh, so i will just press ctrl x and i will place it before below the vehicle group ctrl v and here the group name we will just remove it now just click on ok so now it looks good that is vehicle type is bus accident severity is fatal current year casualties previous year casualties similarly when i am changing it to series serious so you can see with respect to that the tooltip will also change perfect i'll just click on fatal right so now what we will do we will bring all these two things into our kpis or into our dashboard so for that i will uh, again we have to select here floating make sure it is a floating and i will take a vertical thing here right so i will first take a vertical uh, what you can say object and i will go into layout and i will change its width to 1050 one zero five zero and height i will take it as 100 okay so and yes i will just mention as per my convenience perfectly 
just right okay i will just leave some space at the top here because we want to give the title name as well over here right after doing this next thing what you have to do you have to again select this as tiled okay now because we have to place our objects into this particular container and now i'll just select the uh, first vehicle type i will just place it over here okay and just delete this container then we have to take this and we will we have to place it below okay make sure you are placing it below and i will just click here and we just select this container as well. so you can see it is there but it is hidden behind or it's not acquiring enough space because of title so i just right click here and i will just hide the title similarly i will just right click here and i will just hide the title okay and you will just okay so this is perfect so now next thing what we will do is i will just select this particular uh first sheet okay select the first sheet go into layout you can see the paddings over here okay so i'll just uncheck here for bottom i will make it as zero similarly i will take below sheet select the below sheet go into paddings uncheck this or unlock this and for top we will make it as zero why because from for this particular sheet at bottom and for this particular sheet at bo uh, top we will remove all the padding there is a space in between these two sheets and then i will just i'll just lay it a bit bigger so now we need to increase the size of this particular shape so i will go into this particular sheet i will go into size and i will just make it as this much okay so here you can see they are overlapping on each other but when i go into dashboard you can see they are perfectly because the width is large and the height is small here so it is perfectly matching its uh, what we can say it's taking its position perfectly right and the next thing what i will do i will just right click here go into format go into shadings and i will say none here and we will remove all the lines as well so just say none none for this as well okay and for this we will again go we'll select this particular sheet go into shadings say none and go into borders we will say none to our dividers okay then we have to make this particular font to white so i will just select and go here go in text and make this into white color apply we'll go back to dashboard perfect so this looks nice right and next thing what we will do we have to place a um, title for here right so what we will do i will just i will just make this floating again and i will just take text over here and we will name it as so now this should be dynamic right so to make it dynamic you have to go into insert okay first insert your accident severity parameter over here okay so we have taken your parameter first and that is it should be uh, like fatal serious or slight so and we will name it as casualties by vehicle type okay casualties by vehicle type we will select this and we'll choose a font as stain and we'll make it as w semi bold and we will choose the color as this one okay this is the color which i will choose I will click on okay and you can see it has taken its perfect position over here all right so i will just make a bit smaller perfect so and if you want to show a parameter over here so you can click on any sheet over here and you can click on this particular drop down you can go into filters no so not in filters in parameters and you can just select the accident severity so it is now tiled so i will just select this and i will make it as floating okay so you can see this is the parameter i will just reduce its size and i will just increase it horizontally perfect and i'll just so whenever i'm changing this so you can see whenever i'm changing to series it will it will change the its values whenever i'm changing to slide it will change its values with respect to colors as well and with respect to values as well okay so in this way uh, we have created all our kpis the major kpis and the minor kpis as well so next we will start designing and developing our donut charts so for donut charts i will take once again a new sheet and first donut chart which we will be making is uh, for weather condition right so i will name it as weather condition okay so for weather condition we have a field over here in our data so i will take this into our rows 
you can see there are multi multiple weather conditions available so we will be not showing everything in a single donut chart so we will again use a group and we will group some of the members here so again we will follow the same steps i will just right click on weather condition create group and in here what we will be doing uh, for fine uh, i will just select fine plus high winds and fine no hand winds so i will just select these two i will group it and i will name it as only fine okay so when weather conditions are fine so the next one is a rainy weather conditions for rainy i will just select these two high winds and no high winds and i will just group them and i will name it as as rain weather condition and for snow uh, i will just select snowing plus high winds no no high winds and fog or mist okay so i will just group these and i will just name it as snow and or it may be fog okay because we one have one more fog also so it may be snow or fog okay and we have a null over here so instead of keeping it as null i will name it as um some other thing so because we have other and null so we will select this two and i will name it as other okay so it's not taking the same name so we will just rename this again and we will name it as others okay so these are our four conditions which we have i will click on apply okay a new field will be created in our data pane i will take and put it before weather weather conditions so you can see uh, this is fine which contains these two weather condition other will contain null and other rain will contain these two and snow or fog will contain these three uh, members so for now i will just remove this okay and as we have to show it in the form of donut chart so it is a custom chart but we will first create a pie chart so it is creating a four different charts so what we will take this weather and we will just put it into colors okay so we can see one chart is created i will click on entire view so right now we have not added any major over here so it is taking equally dividing all the chart in four equal parts and so what we are showing here is the current year casualties so we will take a casualties right we will take a current year casualties and we will put it into angles right so now we can see it has formed in the in, in the form of an angle over here and next what we will do uh, we have to show labels over here but before that what we have to do is we have to create a donut chart so for that i will just double click in rows okay and i will write calculation over here as average of zero okay so you can click average tab and you can mention a zero and just click over here and double click once more here and i will take an average of once more as a zero okay so there are two instances created of this particular donut chart and what we will do i will just go ahead and in the second marks card that is for this one i will just remove this both uh the fields from here so it is blank now and right now what i will do i will just right click here and i will create a dual axis chart so they both are overlapping on each other so i will go in first marks card again and i will increase the size of this donut chart okay so you can see this is our another donut that is the hole which we have selected over here we will give a different color for here and first i will just increase the site a bit okay this is perfect and we will just hide this so i will just add this as well and for this i will choose a color from here in more colors i will be using a different color over here so it will be a hashtag so you can type the code same uh, into your system as well i will be using 393 b67 okay so this will be the code i will be using and so this will be our color and coming to our first marks card again so we have to give labels over here so i will press control i will take weather and i will put it into labels so you can see we have we are seeing the labels over here and we will go into labels and we will click on this because some of the labels are not showing over here so we will click on this so it is showing that snow snow like for all the uh, like members it will give us the label and i will just take this and i will just place it over here okay so you can you know uh, arrange your label in a such a way that that particular slice of pie chart is uh, correcting to correct label okay or indicating to a correct label then we will press control and we will take this field and we will put it into labels and as we want to show percentage so i will just click on to this last field right click here and add a quick table calculation as percentage of okay, perfect and so we will do some formattings over here so we will make it as eight or we will make it as seven and we will make it as w medium apply okay 
so this looks good now next thing we have to give your overall the number over here in between so we'll take current year casualties and we will put it into labels okay but uh, so instead of that first what we will do i will just right click here i will format this particular label over here and i will make it as uh, or what we can do we can make a label here itself so i will make it as 15 and i will choose the color as yellow apply okay and next time i will format this and one more thing is remaining to make it as bold so i will make it as w bold okay perfect and we will change the number format for this uh, we will go in number standard and uh, it's not showing number custom uh, one decimal point and we will show it into thousands perfect and color has been okay this this color is fine we will keep it white only next thing what we will do uh, we have to create one more chart that is for uh, this is for weather condition but before creating one more chart what we want to make it dynamic is it should be changing with the operation of this particular filter right so if you can see into our dashboard by changing this filter the donut chart should also change so to we have already written one filter over here that is accident severity filter we have made, made this calculation previously so we will just take this and we will be using same calculation put here and make it as true so as soon as i hit apply you can see the values will change here so i will click apply and you can see the values are changed over here and it is showing the values with respect to i will just click on show parameter so right now it is showing for fatal right so we can we are seeing everything is for fatal so when i click on serious we will see the values for serious in this way we are changing the value so if they are overlapping you can always select this and drag a little bit down so that values will be not overlapping on each other perfect so this was for weather condition so next we will go ahead and create for uh, the uh, next is what road surface okay so i will just click here and i will name it as new sheet as road surface based on road surface we want to determine perfect so if you take road surface condition into rows you can see the road surface condition also have multiple members over there so again we will create a group for this so i will just right click here and i will uh, create here a group and if you can see uh, we have a different member so i will just combine them so for flood and weight i will create one group so this will be one group and i will name it as a weight surface okay because flood and weight both are weight surfaces dry one is one one so one, it will keep we will keep it as a one uh, groups and we will combine these two and we will group it and we will name it as frost or we will name it as snow so frost slash snow and for null uh, instead of null we will name it as unknown okay because its values are not there so we will place it or we will rename that as unknown and dry we don't want to convert dry because it is only one single member so we just click on apply so new field is created we will take it and you can see it is distributed in such a way all right so this has been already created so right now what we will do we will just use this same conditions or same uh, donut chart so i will just duplicate this and i will name it as so i will just first delete this and we will name it as road surface okay so now what we have to do here is we have to just replace our uh, fields over here right so instead of weather conditions we are determining it for road conditions so i will just take this and we will put over this okay so it will get replaced with respect to road similarly we want to replace this as well so we will uh okay so we have to take the group here so we have to take the group and we will put it over here and next we will we will take this and we will put it over here perfect all right so you can see with respect to that uh particular uh, road surfaces we are getting our numbers similarly we don't need to change anything because we are showing casualties itself all right and we have this filter over here so this filter will be also needed because they should be changed by using let's say fatal uh, or itself we can say a serious type right so this this is required here all right so this was for this two what we will do uh, we will bring this into our dashboard okay so we will go into our dashboard and what we can do is we can we have to select first floating this has been selected already already sorry and we will take first a weather condition and we will try to place it over here so i'll just take this here make it smaller 
and we will name the sheet as so first we want our to be shown as a parameter which should be dynamic so i will just select this parameter first and then casualties casualties by weather condition all right we will select this we will make it as 10 and we will make it as w semi bold and we will be using this color apply okay perfect and next we will right click here we will click on format we will go in sheet and we will say no similarly there are some uh, borders over here and read lines so we will remove that as well so just select this chart so this will be activated then go in borders and say none for all okay and go into lines and we will remove zero lines as well so the next thing what we can see is here uh, the uh, labels which are there we have to make it in a white color okay so we can go into the sheet select these labels and we will choose this okay that is a little bit gray and we will click on apply and when we go into our dashboard you can see we can see a good label so here perfectly fine so this we don't want because we are already giving names over here so the color will indicate it with respect to that only perfect next thing what we have to do is uh, we will have to change uh, we have to take another another road surface over here uh, the another pie chart we will take it we will try to place it over here perfect we will change the name of this as well and we will take a parameter first and casualties casualties by road surface we'll make it as 10 blue semi bold and we'll use this is apply okay same way format this as well and we will change the labels here as well all right perfect so we will just delete this we can't do it all right so we have uh, designed our donut charts as well the next one which we have to uh, develop is the casualties by road type which is a bar chart all right so now for that again i will take a new sheet and i will name it as road type okay. you can give any name whatever you want so for road type we have a, a field over here so i'll just take this and put it into roads and we want it to show be shown by casualties so i will take current year casualties and i will show it here i will make it as enter view and i will sort it from uh, descending order and then we will take this current year casualties press control and put it into labels so we can view the labels as well over here the next thing is that we have to be control we have to control this with respect to the filter or the parameter which we will be showing in dashboard so we have this so we will take this and we will put it into filter that is accident severity filter make it true so as soon as i hit, as I hit apply so you can see the values will be changed with respect to the field the uh, like severity which we have chosen as serious with respect to that the everything will be changed perfect so i'll just hide this we don't want this particular field then uh, what we will do we have to give color to this as well so we will take the accident severity parameter and we will put it into colors all right and the next thing uh, we'll just select this and i will we have to change the color so i will hit on tableau 20 and i will click on assign palette so for uh, this click on apply okay so whenever i'm changing this to show parameter i mean i choose the fatal the so colors will be changing with respect to that you can see right so this is my chart perfect okay now what we will do i will take this and so for now i will change the color of this to this okay so we are using this color for tablet 20 you can change this color for serious okay and 
we will go to into our dashboard and we will take this into our visualization so I don't want this I will change the name so we will take the parameter and which is by code surface select this and we will make it as stain and this particular color and semi bold apply ok and right click on chart click on format make this as transparent similarly we don't want the lines as well on this uh, ok and we will remove the headers as well perfect so we don't want the axis to be shown here because we are showing the labels and we will click on format for this we will change it to 9 is fine i guess and we will change it to w medium we will make it as this and we will change the alignment to this perfect all right so the next thing uh, we will just change this to a bit this and we will change the labels to white as well okay so we'll again go and change so we will make it as a little bit w medium you can apply it okay come to road surface that is this one okay so this is our uh, bar chart which we have created and the last one which is remaining is uh, on this dashboard is the casualties by location so we will take a new sheet uh, to develop the by location casualties so i will take a new sheet and i will rename it as by location all right so this is by location now we have a two fields that is latitude and longitude and you just make sure that it is uh, having a correct data type it should have a geographic role for them so i will take uh, longitude and i will put it into columns i will take latitude and i will put it into roads so whenever i am doing this you can see one uh, point has been created in united kingdom so to increase the granularity over here what we will do we will take the district area field and i will put it into details so whenever i am doing this it is increasing the granularity and you can see in that particular united kingdom the different districts are uh, visible for us all right next i will just right click here and i will just select the background layers and instead of light we will choose a dark because if we are showing we are having a dark theme to our background okay and we will go in size and we will decrease the size of this marks over here so i will just decrease more so this looks fine next thing we also want to uh, operate this particular uh, chart by applying or by using our filters or the parameters so i will just take this particular field which we have already created and i will click on true okay perfect the next what we have to do we have we want to show more information over here so instead of only showing the map what we will do we will try to show more information in our field so for that what i what I, I can do is I will take number of casualties and I will put it into tooltip. I will take also the number of vehicles and I will put this as well in the tooltip. And if you want to see uh, the different severity as well, so I will take accident severity and I will put that as well in the tooltip. If you want to see different road conditions or light conditions as well, so uh, let's say we want to see light condition, I will put this also in the tooltip. All right, then. Uh, we can uh, we can remove the light condition because it's not showing the correct value because it is aggregated or it's at higher level of granularity so i will just remove this so now this looks good so i will just click on labels or uh, not on labels on tooltip and we will try to format our tooltip so i'll just delete the latitude and longitude we don't want to see this and we will select everything we will select w medium 9 okay so we can see uh we can see the which district it is what is the severity how many casualties are there and number of vehicles which are involved in the accident all right so this is our last chart so now we will bring this as well into our visualization i will just select this and we will try to fit it over here
all right so we'll change the name over here and we will select here the accident severity and casualties by location and we will make it as 10 w semi bold and we will this is as a color apply okay perfect the next thing i will just select this and i will click on format so we cannot change make this as uh, what we can say transparent but we will just remove our borders like uh, borders which are having over here so i will just click on none and we will select none for this as well okay so this looks good and we will again go into our this sheet we also want to change the color whenever we are operating our filter so i will just select here and i will click on show parameter so next i will take this particular parameter and i will put this into colors okay so whenever i'm selecting fatal the color will be changing slight and and we will be saying it for all as well all right so we will just go back to our dashboard and we can see these are changing perfectly fine the next thing is we have to the last one is remaining which we have to show here the filters okay so for filters what we can do is i will just first close this and next what we will be doing here i will add one more container over here so first i will make it as floating we have a floating i will take a horizontal container and i will try to place it over here and i will just reduce the size of this okay okay this is perfectly fine next what i will do you can select any chart over here i will select this chart and uh, or i will just select this particular chart and i will just click over here and i will click on parameter first we want to show current here so it has already automatically gone into that particular container again i will select this and i will just select the parameter as previous here so it has been already again gone into that container so always remember if it is distorting your shape okay so let's say it has been gone outside of this particular so like if, if it is like this if you are seeing it like this okay so you will be worried like how to do this so in that case what you have to do you have to select your previous year parameter take this okay you have to you have uh at this uh you can you have a selection option take this and put it into this particular that is put it in between the kpis uh sheet okay just take it and put it into the kpi sheet release it okay whenever it is here take it from here and put it into this particular uh container okay so it may happen with you it is not happening with me but if it is happening with you so you can do in this way you can tackle this situation right similarly i will just click here again and i will choose the last one so it is automatically taking here as a values all right so next what we have to do is we have to change the color background color of here so we will go in layout i will select this and i will go in layout for background and i will go in more colors so you can choose any color i will just choose random color for me right now and or i will just pick it from here pick from screen i have an option to pick i will just choose this color okay i will just click on okay so for me this is there and for previous year i will just click on more colors i will just any i will click i will take any random color from screen itself so before that i will just choose this okay and for this i will just take background more color and pick from screen and i will take as uh, this okay perfect so and i will just select this i will make it as w medium it is fine i will make it as center okay this also i will make it as center this as well as for center all right so our dashboard has been prepared so whenever i'm changing this you can see the value will change with respect to that similarly when i am changing this as well we will see values are changing with respect to that as well so this was all about this particular design i hope you have learned so many things and you have replicated this into your system as well so i request if you if you have learned something if you have uh, you know got some knowledge into the from this particular dashboard i request you to like this video subscribe my channel and click on notification bell so you, whenever i am uploading more videos regarding visualization tableau power bi or excel so you will get a notification and you will learn uh, something new out of that so see you in the next one guys till then bye bye